He's in the back. Oh, something just landed on my shoulder. Wait. No joke. No joke. What was that? Mom, relax. Hey guys. So, the other day, uh, my husband was outside making a fire over back there somewhere. Anyway, he was making a fire and he felt an excruciating pain. Like we all thought he was ridiculous, but he got this like blotchy mark on his wrist and it was like literally excruciating. And he thought he was having, he literally thought he was having a heart attack because the pain moved up into his shoulder right there. He called me on the phone and was like, when are you coming home? Because I'm pretty sure I'm having a heart attack. So after doing some research and remembering a couple days ago, he had this really weird thing on his um, belt. Guess what? It was an asp. Have you guys ever heard of an asp? They apparently are the most toxic and poisonous caterpillars in North America. And we've been seeing them all over Facebook and guess what? We have them here in our freaking yard. So. Um, since I saw the last post on Facebook in Alito just a couple minutes ago, I decided to go into my backyard and go ass punting. And guess what? I freaking found one. Hold on, I'll show you. Oh, and by the way, I've decided that these things look like a cross between a, s a slug, a caterpillar, and a dog. So I'm calling them a slog. These things are, should be called slogs, not asps. Are you ready for this? Here goes. Okay, so here's our backyard, our back patio. As you can see, we have lots of trees. And they say that asps live in freaking shade trees. So guess what? I walked over to the shade tree and look what I freaking found. Oh my gosh. Is that not a slug sloth dog? Look how freaking hairy that thing is. It's pretty much terrifying. It reminds me of the triple thingies from freaking Star Trek. So if there's one, there's probably tons. So we're gonna keep hunting and see what we can find. Right, Aircam 3210, time to find asps. Where do they live, son? Why are you acting weird? Where do they live? <laughs> In trees. Or? Sh shrubbery. Around? Houses or schools. What do they look like? Slogs. Slogs. Let's find some more. Okay, I'm looking straight up into a tree and guess what I freaking found? One of the things that I read was, the, there's, there's air cam. Do you see it? No. One of the things that I read is that they freaking fall off of you from shade trees. Wait. Beware the freaking slog. Next thing that I need to figure out is how to kill these things. Hold on, I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'll show you. While I was pointing up at that one that was above my head, look what I found. Hold on, hold on. I just turn the camera around. That's all I did was turn the camera around and there's another freaking slug. Another freaking scary slug dog caterpillar. Dude. Literally in a matter of about two minutes, we found three slugs right off of our back patio. Apparently these slugs don't give a crap about them, but guess what? If they ate these slugs that fell down from the tree, and our boxer probably, yeah, our boxer probably would, and he'd be dead. So, slogs. Cameron, go figure out how to kill them. Guys, guess what we just read? Um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say that the, about 20 minutes ago, we, get back here. About 20 minutes ago, we really enjoyed our patio. Look how sweet we have lights hanging in the trees. We didn't realize we were living underneath a veritable nightmare here of asps that create excruciating pain, and I'm not even kidding. Look it up, guys. Okay, boys, come on. Air Cam 3210 and... Ryder Xander. Ryder Xander. What are we doing? We're gonna get some asps. Don't so, touch uh, it. I'm just gonna grab the leaf. No, what if it falls off the leaf and the dog eats it? Okay, go. We need to show you guys close up what a nightmare slog this is. What if it flings onto us? No, it's a good idea. Let me do it. Let me do it. Give it to me. You video it. You video it. I'm more brave. Ready? It's wriggling. Oh, kill it. No touch it. No touch it, Ryder. Okay, okay, hold on. You literally like squished it. Look at it. It's a freaking triple. Has anybody watched, 
Has anybody watched those Star Trek videos? If you guys have watched those Star Trek videos, comment below. Look at this thing. It's like a freaking treble. Those things that like took over the, the Star Trek thing. Zoom in on that, Connor. Look at that thing. Are you kidding me? Tell me that is not an alien. It's not an alien. There's a hair on my arm and now I'm freaking out that I got triple dust on me. But seriously, look at that thing close up and tell me that is not an alien from another planet. Who has ever seen one of these before? Comment below. Just leave your comments in the feed below. Don't touch that to yourself. It has the toxins on it. You heard it? was it? Good Lord. Bless his heart. Ryder Zander's our special boy. Oh, my. Number four, and this one's weird. He's a ginger asp, so he is literally 25 times, maybe a thousand times, more dangerous than the other asps because he's a freaking ginger asp. It's not Focus on it, Cameron. There you go. Look at that ginger asp. He's dangerous. We are gonna put them in a pit and let them fight it out. I've got me money on the ginger asp. Good Lord. You're bad at freaking oh, focus yeah. like this. Oh, there you go. Look at that ginger asp. I got me money on him, boys. He is going to beat the other two blondies into a pulp. Oh my gosh. As we are looking for asps, we found this other complete and total nightmare in our backyard. Please, do we live on freaking Mars or do we live in Texas? I am not even kidding you guys. It looks like a baby ass. I am super freaked out by this. I don't even know what this thing is. I've never seen one like this before, but it is terrifying. Connor, what should we do with it? Bow, bow. We check your adventures. Green boy versus ginger and blondies. Here we go, get in there. Get in there, you little son of a gun. Did you stab him? I may have slightly squished it, that's okay. It's okay. Oh. Uh, what, what? You stabbed it. Well, uh, my bad. <laughs> Wait. He's in a bed. Oh, something just landed on my shoulder! Frick! No joke! No joke! What was that? Long legs. Google confirmed that green nightmare is a freaking baby ass. And something landed on my shoulder while we were harvesting it. Ah! Camera just showed me a picture. That is a baby ass. Straight up. Look at that, guys. Oh, Lord! This used to be our happy place and now it is a nightmare. This is a literal nightmare backyard of my nightmares. So the question is guys, how do we get rid of these freaking things? There's an airplane fall. Camera just, camera just brushed against this. The asp thing. I, I don't know what's gonna happen next guys. You're gonna have to stay tuned. He literally took his shorts off because he is terrified of the asps. Itchy. They didn't even touch you. This is so cute. I just want to show you this sweet little family of death. Look, this is a family of death. You have the mom and dad, little blondies over here. Then over here, you have the problem ginger child, right there. And then over here, you have the crazy newborn baby. And every single one of them is a harbinger of doom. Do you want to see the most terrifying of all? This weird little thing, and it is tiny. This just happened to be in there, and we just noticed it. And honestly, guys, this thing is freaking scarier than the ginger problem child of doom. We're, we're about to show you how to kill these things. We're going to burn them? Yes. <laughs> burn it down and burn the whole house down maybe not the house but at least, <laughs> at least the trees because the trees are where they live look how sweet the blondie boy is petting the ginger he's so sweet they love each other apparently they are not poisonous to each other only to humans and dogs and maybe chickens oh my gosh guys i found another huge asp oh wait no that's just our outside cat Okay guys, I'm gonna zoom in and show you its terrifying little asp mouth. Look at that. Oh Lord, what is coming? What the heck? 
That thing went away. The ginger one is like, I'm not gonna be undone by that one. Oh, and look at its little nasty brother climbing on that thing. What is that little monster? Oh my god. Oh, it's like Look, I got the camera! Oh my gosh! So guys, we've lived in Texas for 12 years. I have caught snakes that are five, six feet tall in my chicken coop. We have killed and caught copperheads that are venomous snakes on our property. By far, these little slogs are the most terrifying thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Terrifying nightmares of my existence. Slogs. Okay guys, Aircam3210 is now terrified. He's scared of everything, mostly ghosts, but now also slogs. There's one way up there, way up there, and he wants me to get it so that he can rest easy because he forgot already about the part where it says that they lay hundreds and hundreds of eggs. So here goes nothing. Cameron, show them what a lighter looks like in Texas. That's right. Okay, so for reals, if these things can make my husband feel like he's having a heart attack, they're gone. As everybody says, is scared of spiders, burn the house down. Well, guess what? We're burning the asps down. And I'm really worried that they're gonna smell like burning dog because they're vlogs. Ready? Here goes. Okay, guys, we just burned three of them and Cameron had a very, I mean, air cam had a very good point. The air could be poisonous now, so if this is our last video, please, you know, send your respects to the rest of our family because we literally died because of the smell of those things. Now everything that touches me terrifies me. Okay guys, thank you for watching. This is my beautiful patio at night. Check it out. Oh, and by the way, um, I do sell real estate. And if you're watching this video, it was filmed in Louisiana.